I was trying to think up a name for a fantasy world that might have been created by children. And what I came up with was Booyah Moon, which sounds like a childhood place to me. It's a place that's supposed to be very, very beautiful and at the same time very dangerous, where time doesn't run the way that it does on Earth. I wanted it to feel like the inside of a dream that's actually become real. Booyah Moon is part of that, you know, sort of Stephen King multiverse. It is a place that was a bit of a salvation for Scott and also a desperate necessity. I'd almost call it a purgatory. There are people that get kind of stuck there. Um, it's also a place that people retreat from the world. That's the place where she finds her sister. All this works in a very symbolic way, in a very metaphorical way, because even though this world's fantasy are very fantastical and, and, and non-real, they do represent certain desires and illusions and, and situations that we experience as human. The whole interesting thing about Booyah Moon is Sim King's absolutely adamant it's real. 